Okay. We're going to do this with a Euler diagram. All snooches are sneezes. Oh, great. Let's just cross this off and call it all A's are B's. Some boopas. What the heck? Some C's are B's. So we're concluding some C's are A's. All right, all A's are B's. All right, let me just do one of these first. All right, there's my universe, and in my universe, all A's are B's. So this will be my A's. Grab a different color. All my A's are inside my B's. Some C's are B's. Some C's are B's. Well, now, I have some options here. See the C's here? I could actually have this so that they overlap. But I don't want that. Why don't I want that? Because the conclusion is that some C's are A's. And I want to show, if it's possible, that this argument is not valid. How do I do that? By demonstrating with the picture that I can draw the premises and the conclusion is not necessarily part of the picture. And you can see that here. I've drawn out all the premises, but the conclusion is not, uh, in, it's not definitely in the picture. It could be, but it doesn't have to be. Because it doesn't have to be, it means the premises do not necessarily imply the conclusion. There's a loophole. All right, let's look at number 17. Oh, these are easy. No roofs are hurricane proof. That's a lie. Um, but um, what do they want me to do? They want me to negate that. The negation of none is some. Some roofs are, I'll just put hurricane proof like that. Remember, all, none, some are, some aren't, all are, none are. This is how your uh, teacher told you they were related your kindergarten or you know elementary school teacher said the opposite of all is none the opposite of some is some are not but that is not true actually the opposite of all is at least one is not or some aren't and the opposite of none are is at least one is so the negations travel along those red lines so down here some houses are not the opposite of some are not is not that some are, the opposite of some are not, is all are. All houses are roomy. All right, and that brings us to number 19. Write the negation, inverse, converse, and contrapositive of the given conditional statement. Well, here it is. It says, Simon goes to bed early, then he will sleep soundly. So the uh, negation of that would be, let's see, you have to review the negation of not, oh, if P then Q is going to be the negation of P, nope, not P, or Q, which is P and not Q. So that's a good thing to know. So how do I write that? That's P. That's Q. So the negation of that statement above is Simon goes to bed early and doesn't sleep soundly. OK, that's the negation. The next one is 
the inverse. So writing them in the order that they're asking for them. The inverse is when you negate both of statements, so, but it's still a conditional if Simon doesn't go to bed early, then he won't sleep soundly. That's called the inverse. Remember it's not P, not Q. Alright, the converse is what they ask for next. So the converse, I'll write this in green. The converse is you just swap the statement. So the converse would be if uh, Simon sleeps soundly then he went to bed early. I changed goes to went so that we'd have a tense agreement. All right, and the contrapositive, uh, I'll do that in black. The contrapositive, this is the one that is equivalent to the conditional. It's not Q, if not Q, then not P. So writing that, I'm going to say, if Simon doesn't sleep soundly, then he didn't go to bed early. And a key thing to remember on this is that this is equivalent to this, right? The conditional is equivalent to the contrapositive and the converse is equivalent to the inverse. Basically, if you change the order, you have to change the, um, the sign. Okay, so if I gave you this to this, if I change the order, then I have to change the sign. Does that make sense? Or I'll give you a really advanced one here. If I had um, okay, where this whole thing is the consequence, if I change the order, I'd have to negate this and that, right? And these would be equivalent, but I wouldn't leave it like that. Don't worry, you won't have anything this hard, but it's just cool to try to do things that are challenging. And so that would be the equivalent of that. So there you go. That's our review video, at least for that sheet. I hope this helps you. And uh, this will probably take forever to upload because my internet's slow, but I'll do my best to get it to you. Uh, that's it for now. Mr. R, out.